Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm lots Sean of, Anderson. Lots of energy, Sean. I'm Sean Anderson of Most Valuable Podcast. And I got Dave. Dave hey. Oster of hey. Fast Break Podcast alongside me. We're doing NBA draft grades for the 2016 NBA draft. And we have the Oklahoma City Thunder. Dave had to be on this. Dave said he needed to be on this. <laughs> they killed it. They did they, kill they it. They just killed it. They uh, did I'm kill sorry. It. Like, you can just stop this video and go, okay, okay, season in the Western Conference Finals. Uh, yeah. That's all the info you need to know. Thanks. I mean, well, no. it's going to be tough because the Warriors and Spurs <laughs> are still good, but but the the moves they made definitely will help their team. Yeah, but I mean, for sure. I mean, it's hard to it's hard not to think of the Thunder's draft and just say they they made it. I mean, if you, if you look at what they were had going into this, there was rumors of Ibaka tra- being traded, yeah, and, and it ended up happening. They didn't start off with a first round draft pick, but then they end up getting the eleventh pick in the draft, and they ended up and selecting Demontis Sabonis. Yeah. Dave's boy. I, ever... I do love him. Uh, again, he's one of the players we got to see live, thankfully, yeah. uh, which really kind of... Uh, opened your eyes. It, it opened my eyes, but, I mean, it showed a different level of like, tenacity that he brought to the game, and when he kind of took over down low in the paint, he is a down-and-dirty like 4-5, and it's just it's fantastic watching him play. He's super, super passionate. He's super unathletic, though. Mm-hmm. That, that's the, that's yeah. the weird mix. He kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Steven Adams... But, you know, I think what you're going to get out of him is a different level of toughness. Not sure how he can take a nut shot yet, but we'll find out sure soon enough. I'm positive Draymond Green will test him on that. But, yeah, and then the second round they went out and got Daniel Hamilton, a forward out of UConn, a guy that's uh, it's kind of a stretch there. I think they could have just signed him uh, unsigned. But the, the main thing well, is you, here. At that point, come on. I, I think, True. I think you, it, it's a guy who you like a little, mm-hmm. and you don't want to risk it because once that clock ticks to zero on 60, Everybody can toss an offers on anybody, and you got to watch out. So that's that's pretty. If fair. they want to give them a shot, I think it's a fair thing. Uh, at that point, I didn't really have anybody else mock them better, so I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, I, I, it, so okay. D- Dave changed my mind on there, but but let's oh, get into the trade. We agree this is, again. This is what really matters. You get Sabonis, you get Ursan and Leosova, and then you get the second round overall pick in the 2013 draft. Second in overall. Vic- second second overall in. Victor Oladipo, a guy that you know the, the Thunder have needed a a, a a number two that can play defense and shoot the three. Oladipo is not there on the three yet. I think he shot thirty four percent last year, but yeah. still, it's an emerging three point shot. He's improved his three every single year. Why don't you talk about Oladipo's and you know what Oladipo brings <laughs> to the Thunder? Oladipo brings something that, like you said, they, they've been missing for years. Uh, the last time they had a two guard who has anywhere near the level of talent was when they had. James Harden. I almost wanted to call him Dwight Harden because that's what I'm sorry. Dwight. They're 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 one man. Um, but no, he is a fantastic defender. He can get to the he can get through the paint, get to the bucket. His shot is getting better year after year. I I think the big thing here is the push because of his contract. You know, the Magic saw the end of the contract. They weren't going to pay up for him after it ended. So like, let's move him. And the OKC walks into this fantastic young guy who is still growing as a player and is already at a fantastic defensive level. And like, oh, wait, uh, two guards a weakness. What else can we do to make sure that our, our man, Kevin Durant, is happy here? Let's go complete our starting five and get some depth. So not only do they get Oladipo, they get Sabonis to come in. So that's two huge additions to this team that instantly makes them better. And that's is if Il Silva stays, more depth, more stretch. I mean... OKC nailed this one without a doubt. They 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 nailed this one. I, I, there's nothing you else can say but an A plus for yeah. the Thunder. I, I I look at I look at Oladipo and and while the contract might be a little worrisome, they're not worried about the future right now. They're worried this, about this is right a win now. now team exactly. They're worried yeah. about right now. And this guy is going to be able to cover Clay Thompson or at least you know shut down Clay Thompson better than the Dion Waiters did. Oh so obviously God. we're we're, we're going to see Oladipo be on Clay Thompson if they make it back to the Western Conference Finals here. But again, there's not much you can say. So Bonus, a great prospect, one of our favorite prospects here at MVP from all three of us on the fast yeah. break. High floor, low ceiling, but still, he's going to go out there and give it a, he'll give it everything he's got every night. Exactly, very intense player. Oladipo, we obviously love. I mean, he's not going. He might not be on the Thunder for a long time, but we are looking for an immediate. He contrib- might be contribution. that little bit to get him up to the top. Exactly, he might be that immediate contribution that the Thunder need to win the NBA Finals. So I think the Thunder killed it here. Dave kind of changed my uh, opinion on Daniel Hamilton as well, which is weird because he's a UConn. 
Sound guy, but uh, but still, I know. I, 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 he may he may end up disappointing me, but I, I like to be hopeful because I feel like everything else this Thunder team has done in this draft was fantastic. So I'm like, it's maybe I'll, I'll give you a little pass here. Sam Presti should be uh, should be uh, executive of the year already for this trade. I think I think this was fantastic. Steal of the year for for the Thunder, but it's gonna wrap it up. Thunder, you get an A. Thank you so much for watching these draft grades. If you do not want to miss any of the other teams, check out the playlist down below or just subscribe to our channel because we'll be putting them out every single chance we get. Ricky's just going to be a machine uploading them every, every, you know, every single quick. He's got quick hands. He's adding them down. He's uploading them. So if you don't want to miss them, check out the link in the description or check out our page, Most Valuable Podcast. If you don't want to miss any of our post-draft draft coverage, free agency coverage, subscribe to our channel. And if you like these draft grades, if you like the grade I get, gave to your team, like this video. And if you didn't like this grade, you know, tell us in the comments why why it should be higher, why it should be lower. What did your team do right? What did your team do wrong? But that's going to wrap up this video. If you do want to follow us on different places, you can find us on Twitter at Most Valuable Pod. You can find me on Twitter at Schwarbo. You can find us on Facebook. You can find us on Snapchat. You can even find us at Patreon.com, Patreon.com slash Most Valuable Podcast. You know, if you donate at least a dollar, you do get a monthly exclusive podcast. And it's, it's, it's you know, people from the MVP network. The one for July is me, Mike, and Brandon. And it's a pretty fun one. Mike had some pretty good stories. So if you do not want to miss out on that, go to patreon.com slash most podcast. It's going to wrap up this draft grade video and I will see you next time.